One of the things I talk about here is doing your homework, doing your daily narrative when it comes to the markets. One of the things we've been seeing here for the past uh, couple weeks is without uh, FOMC chatter or intervention, this market really isn't moving much. Today we saw a seven-year lows in the VIX trading back to 2006 lows. We got into the 11s on the VIX uh, volatility index, which is a measure of the CBOE. Uh, puts versus calls on the S&P 100, the OEX, uh, for the technic technical folks out there. What I want to bring up today is I did absolutely zero trades. It was a Monday. There was nothing on the schedule. There was no scheduled economic news, nothing of substance planned in the day today. Yet, at the end of the day, uh, we're looking at the, the NASDAQ market right here on the chart along with our video. And at the end of the day, we're going back here now. This is uh, five days of trading. This was actually last Tuesday. So Tuesday, overnight, Wednesday, overnight, Thursday, overnight, Friday, the Sunday session, and then today is the way I've got the charts broken out here. So you could look at today and go, wow, you know, we had a nice little trend day, but the trend was interesting in that we actually broke to a, uh, you know, tested and went below Friday's low uh, there in that C period at around the 8 o'clock hour but couldn't hold it and from there we were reversed and basically did have a trend day from 8 o'clock on the west coast all the way back to the close. Pretty much closed in the close here at 2808 but if you were fortunate to get one of these two or one or two ticks here at the low of the day 2787 which again was a low below last Friday's low but not below uh, really this week area of 2784. So no reason to really be short there, and, and for me, really no reason to be long. But if you caught that, and we're lucky enough to, to buy that little dip there at the eight o'clock hour, again, there was no reason to buy it, uh, but technically or, or, or from the profile. But if you were fortunate enough to buy it and hold it for the end of the day, the total range today that we saw was only 20 points. So 20 points out of a, a 2800 uh, nominal trading vehicle like the NASDAQ really breaks out to uh, less than three quarters of a per of one percent. So the range today again very muted even more so uh, well, maybe about the same just a little slightly below in the in the S&P. So this market is very very snoozy right now. The ranges are muted. Uh, you're even seeing it in oil. You're even seeing it in the dollar which is driving all of this. The dollar has been very quiet. So when I look at a day and look at my narrative and what I saw today, I had some points. I was willing to sell higher and, and buy lower off the open, but we never saw those off the open, and we never saw them for the whole day. So I followed my narrative to the T today. I was looking for opportunities. They didn't show themselves. And again, we closed for a fifth day in a row inside this range, which has been muted, 2784 up to, again, 2817. So a total of 30 points or 1% is all we've traded wide. That's the total width now in a week of trading. So we're in one of those moments where you really have to be patient. And maybe the next 30 points comes in a close above 2817 or a close below 2784. Uh, but until then, you're kind of in this ping pong area, and the ping pong area is becoming tighter and tighter. Really, we've been trading in this range. I would call it 2805 down to 2790. So I'd really call the real range of, of most of the, the volume that you're seeing here somewhere uh, probably in this uh, box right in here, 2705. Uh, down to 2790. So that is only a half percent wide. And, and you can see when I draw that box that we really haven't moved except for a couple spikes above and below. We have not moved much beyond that range. So keep this in mind when you set up a narrative to trade in any market. Have your plan and don't be uh, bummed out or forced into taking a trade that isn't there. There was no trade for me today. Matter of fact, I would grade myself A based on my narrative. The narrative was spot on. I did not buy this bottom or anywhere uh, for that matter the rest of the day. I did not see a good long trade. Uh, you could have gotten uh, long above the breakout, the IB there at 27.98. Uh, and even on the test later in the day, you could have come back and tested that. And you would have had 10 points if you held to the close maximum. So not a bad trade. It's just not a trade that I took and not a trade that I set out to take uh, on the onset of the day. Um, I find in days like this where my narrative is right and there's no trades, again, just give yourself a break. Go for a long walk, get away from the screens, wait for something more substantial to happen. This is Options Expiration Week as it comes to the indices. Uh, it's, it's, it's quad witching. Again, it's a quarter end. Um, 
you know, will we see some volatility? Who knows? The volatility is very stretched to the downside right now. We're due for a snapback. We came from 19 all the way back here to the 11s. Uh, it's not saying it's going to happen tomorrow, but we're due for something to change here uh, sh sooner than later. But uh, what will make it happen? I have no idea. Until then, uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Join us at mistrade.info. We'll see you on the other side. Hope you had a great uh, weekend, great trading day, and uh, let's look for uh, better opportunities tomorrow and the next day. Peace. Join us at mistrade.info.